Hello everyone, it is your girl Cassandra Olivia and I am back with yet another nail video. To be completely honest guys, I was not gonna post this just because it took so long. And I'm so sorry about the background noise. I'm in my garage and it's hella windy out. So that's like my garage door just making noise. But anywho, I decided to post this anyway just because I know there's people out there that aren't perfect at everything they do. I'm one of them, I'm human. And I wanted to show you guys my um, progress as far as trying to learn how to do nails again at home. As you guys know, it's been a nine year hiatus. However, being quarantined in the house, I decided to get back into it. So here we are. So <laughs> I threw on my nail tips. This time I actually glued them down just because I was struggling in my last couple of videos and I decided like, hey, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. So I did order the nail tips from Ready Guana along with the um, Gorilla Glue and I followed the instructions that they sent just to put the tips on and then I also put on <clears throat> clear tips on top of the nail enhancements which is what you saw in the beginning. So now I'm just going in with some Valentino nail monomer and I'm also going in with their powder and I'm just going to start applying my clear liquid and acrylic on my nails to create like a, a foundation. The reason why I'm doing clear is because I'm gonna start practicing on how to paint nails better because I'm not the best when it comes to using polish, but um, I wanna learn how to do polish a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all these clear and my goal and my thought process was, okay, you do these clear, you can either do like acrylic on top and either file it down or I can do like a polish on top and just remove it and then I'll still have nails underneath. So that way every single time I do nails, I don't have to do like a completely new set. I can kind of just play around with these hands until I get more comfortable. So sorry for the long intro. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing here. And if you like these type of videos, comment down below and give your girls a thumbs up. And um, what else? I can't even talk, but whatever. We not even gonna cut this out. Y'all know how I do I'm keeping everything in here because we keep it real in 2020. And um, yeah, so I'm just applying the nails here. I did speed this up because this process overall took me about, I wanna say an hour and 30 minutes. And then I got real crafty at the end. I decided that I wanted to add on some bedazzlements, some jewels, and it was a low key epic fail, but I still left that in here also, just in case somebody didn't wanna see this. So this video is gonna be pretty long, but it is sped up. And um, it's just out for anybody who wants to learn how to do nails and just kind of get like my technique and kind of what I'm doing. Um, but. Obviously, this is not perfect. I'm not perfect when it comes to this. So um, constructive criticism is also welcome. But yeah, hit that notification bell and make sure you subscribe to me on here and follow your girl on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. I have started taking clients this week. Yay! <laughs> so I have about, I think, four new client videos coming. And I also have a huge, huge, huge announcement for you guys, but I'm just trying to wait. I'm not trying to spoil anything yet until everything is set in stone because I don't wanna jinx myself. But yeah, major moves coming soon. So shout out to you guys for supporting me and just showing me love because we are gonna be doing some big things coming soon. So I'm gonna apply this acrylic. I'm done talking for now. I'm just gonna come back when I'm on the second part.
while I remember, so I'm sorry I'm all over the place, but my goal for this was just basically to apply the clear acrylic in like a semi-thick layer, that way I can just file it down. I'd rather put it on too thick than too thin, and then I start filing and the nails like break apart or they're not sturdy. So yeah, that's my thought process behind this. I know that they look a little janky, but that's okay. As long as you have it on there, you can always file it away and file it down. But once you put the nails on and they're not thick enough, it's hard to build those up unless you add more acrylic. So that's just how I have been doing them lately. But I think I'm gonna probably try a couple different techniques. And here you see, I'm not laying the acrylic in any type of order. Some nails I start at the bottom, some nails I start at the top. I'm kind of still trying to figure out what works for me and what feels comfortable to me. So yeah, I was just playing around with this, kind of just seeing what I wanted to do. And as I started moving through the nails, it started getting quicker. But overall, the process for me, doing the nails, filing them down, um, painting them and doing the gems took me about an hour and 30 minutes total, which is why this video was about, I think, 25 minutes long, because I literally sped up every single part just so you guys can kind of see my processes but yeah more nail tutorials coming soon and before i mention i have been using mccart products um valentino products young nails products shout out to you guys um products are amazing i'm loving the customer service from valentino and i'm loving their acrylic the most so far that's just what i gravitate towards but young nails acrylic and monomer is also bomb as well and um your girl has been using mccart everything mccart nail foils glue tips I mean, literally anything that I've seen online from McCart, your girl has it in her inventory. And I'm also now a McCart influencer. So thank you guys for reaching out to me. I do appreciate that. So definitely we'll be having more videos and reviews with their products. And I've also subscribed to a nail boxy and I've been using a lot of stuff from Red Iguana. So I think in my next video, I'm gonna do like a, like a nail haul slash nail tutorial. And yeah, y'all gonna keep seeing these L's that I'm taking, but I'm gonna keep posting them anyway because I want you guys to see like, the glow up because your girl is going to get good at this and when i get good at it i want y'all to reference these beginning videos be like yo this girl has come such a long way so i'm pretty much keeping these on here for my progress and so that way i can keep track of you know my growth as far as trying to do these nails so here i'm just cleaning my brush off using the nail monomer and this is how the nails look they look pretty decent but i definitely need to do some filing and there's some acrylic underneath so i'm just tapping them to make sure that they're dry and now i'm just going in with my mccart drill and as always, I will link everything down in the description box below because I don't remember everything off of the top of my head, but it will be down below. Trust me, you guys can look for it, you can read. <laughs> so I'm just going in with my nail drill and I'm also using this nail dust collector that I got off of Amazon as well. If you haven't seen the pattern here already, I've been shopping a lot on Amazon, spending hundreds of dollars that I don't need to spend, but hey, that's what you do when you're boarding the house, I guess. So yeah. I'm just gonna file these nails down. I like to work at the top and work my way down the sides and underneath and kind of just use the bottom of the drill, the sides of the drill to kind of make the nails straight. And then I'll always go in and file with a hand file, the 180 um, slash 100 grit. And then I'm also going to buff the nail. So I normally file, then I'll use my hand file, then I'll e-file, use the hand file, then I'll buff. I'll keep going back and forth and putting the hand in different directions just to make sure that they look all right. Because we pretending that this is a real client. I mean, the hand looks pretty realistic already but I'm trying to treat this as if these were my nails and how I would look at them. So that's why I just made sure to take my time with this. So that way, as I you know, get better, I can kind of know how to like be quicker and more efficient, but also still do a decent job and be thorough.
So this right here is what I was talking about. So now that I'm done pretty much with the e-file for my first go around, I'm just turning the hand up so that way I can look at it from like the client point of view, technically. And now I'm just filing down the sides and just cleaning up my shape a little bit better. These are coffin tips that I use and then the only use that I have currently. So I'm just making sure that that shape is in there. And I'm just trying to make sure that the nails aren't crooked or slanted or too bulky on one side. I'm just really going in and just detailing everything that I just did. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the hand file again, or the e-file, and I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and smooth. And I'm just taking out some of that bulk so that way the nails don't look so damn big. <laughs> Cause nobody wants no bulky ass nails, okay? If you do, do you. But me, personally, that's not my thing. Okay, so now I did my two rounds of my filing with the e-file and the hand file, and this is how the nails are looking. So now I'm just gonna turn the hand over, and as you can see, there's some acrylic that's like underneath and kind of like just a little messy looking, so I just wanna clean up that shape because I want these coffin nails to be crisp. And because they are clear, I wasn't sure if I wanna keep them clear or if I was going to go in with like a polish. So just in case, I just wanna make sure they look decent from all points of view because this is how I really look at my nails when I go to the nail salon. Like, I look underneath, and if I see acrylic under my nails, I'm instantly like, I'm never coming back. So yeah, I'm just doing that, cleaning them up. Now I'm just going in with my buffer and just gonna buff out all the nails, make sure they're nice and smooth. And then once I'm done that, I did go in with an alcohol wipe, or alcohol on a um, paper towel, and I just used that to wipe off any excess dust after I was done like dusting the nails off, just to make sure they were a nice clean surface before I went in with the polish, because I didn't want dust, you know, sticking to my nail polish. So yeah, now that that's done, I'm just going in with my Young Nails top coat. I believe this is the Soak Off top coat, and I honestly don't know what the difference is between this and a regular top coat. I guess I should, but I don't, and I didn't care to like investigate too much because it's a practice hand, but I'm pretty sure you can soak these off. That's why it's called Soak Off. So yeah, I'm going in with the top coat, and I'm going underneath because I want to create like that glassy effect, and I just want it to be seamless. Once I'm done this, I'm going to put the nails inside of my um, lamp just to cure them for about a minute and a half. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Valentino. Uh, I forget what shade this is, but I'll look, I'll look it up before I post this video and just put it in the description box. But it's just like, like really pretty, pretty like royal blue. 
that I decided to just rock with. So I'm just gonna do a coat of this, cure it for about a minute, 30 seconds, just to be on the safe side because I did, you know, the top and the under part of the nail. Then I'm gonna do two coats of that royal blue that you see right there in the top of right hand corner. And then I'm <laughs> and then I'm going to go on top of it with some top coat. And then after I did that, I was done. But then I was like, ooh, let me be crafty and use some gel and some of the stuff I got from my nail boxy. And your girl was feeling overly confident and I took this huge L trying to do the freaking uh <laughs> the freaking gems and the little beads. I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be. So yeah, this is the before. I'm just popping it in. And here I am just painting it with that blue. I'm so sorry if I'm talking too much and not talking enough because I know there's like big gaps in this video. But uh, I don't know, I just, I don't really have too much to say. I'm just basically telling you what I'm doing here. And I did go in with my fingers to remove some of the excess because like I said, I'm not perfect and I'm not really good at using polish period or gel polish. So yeah, I was just trying to make sure that before I cure these that I got as much of the excess polish off as possible so that way they look nice and clean. And I skipped the second nail only because in my mind, I thought I was gonna do that one a different color, like either a black or that shiny um, iridescent purple color. But then I decided like, let me not do too much. Cause I felt like I was doing too much with the different colors and the freaking embellishments on the nails. I was just like, okay, let me pull it back a little bit. So I did go back in to paint that one blue. And I did like how they looked like this, but then I was just like, these are cute classic blue nails. But I was just like, let me go for it. You know, life is full of challenges and just obstacles. And I'm like, since I'm already doing this and it's not a real hand, I don't mind if I mess this up because they not gonna fight me when I get done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on, cure this, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys my attempt at using the gem gel that I got from the Red Iguana Nail Boxy box, which I actually got last month. And that will be in my next video along with this month's box as well in my two new um, full practice hands. So yeah, check that video out, it'll be coming soon. But this is just how I painted my little nails. You see, I was struggling going back and forth. I really was just trying to take my time and make sure that these looked as best as I knew I could make them look. And this is not bad for me, but um, please help me down below because I am not no damn nail tech by any means necessary. <laughs> my voice all cracking, I'm over here stuttering. Like what else can happen in this freaking video? But yeah, I'm gonna polish these twice. I'm done talking officially. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna go back in and show you guys fast forward it how I use the gem gel and my red iguana box really briefly. But I will be more detailed in the next video and I'll actually take out every item that I got from the last two months along with my red iguana practice hands. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to make the hands look more realistic because right now I do use um, like rings and stuff, but I found a little hack to make the nails and like make the hand look a little bit more like a person so that way you can kind of finesse for your pictures until you get real clients. So I'm using this um, double-sided, what is this? A wax pencil, wax, whatever. I'm using this, whatever this contraption is to put this, put the beads on. But um, it took me forever. Like I was just like, I'm doing way too much. And these beads were so damn small. They were bouncing all over the table. So you just want to make sure that you don't, don't do too much guys. But anyway, I'm out of here. It's Monday. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and an amazing week. I can't wait to see all of my clients. My clients are the freaking bomb, guys. Like, they're gonna make me cry. I don't have people bring me food, wine, cards, gift certificates. Like, my clients really come through. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. I appreciate every single last one of my subscribers. Hope you enjoy the rest of this crazy ass nail video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Everybody have a wonderful and productive week. And I'm out here. Bye.